Way back in 1993, then Fire Chief George Bentley wanted a fire and life safety program in the schools. It seemed like at the time uh, that the uh, reaching the youth would be the, the best model. Start out there, try to modify behavior, you know, provide the education, provide the information, bring that information home and try to have an impact on reducing the hazards. So I contacted the Olathe Schools and I did a lot of research from other programs around the country and we kind of developed a program that would work in Olathe. It ended up being that we want to get in every year, reach every third grader. We started off very small, just doing a few schools to begin with to kind of get a feel for, you know, do, is this going to work? What can we do to, you know, make sure that it's the best program for the city of Olathe? I was part of the initial group. The kids were very eager to learn, they were very excited, and most of all what they were thrilled about was the opportunity to have the firefighters come monthly. And at that time the firefighters would hang out at recess, sometimes they would go to lunch, and those relationships that were built were really meaningful for the kids. I remember we wrote on a whiteboard at one point, like, how could fires start? How do you, you know, keep your family safe? What are your safety exits? Making sure of all that stuff and how it could affect you later. I remember the demonstration, I think it was a kitchen stovetop demonstration, uh, where they had the oil, oil fire, I think, and they showed us, you know, how you smother it, not dump more things on it. And then I also remember when they brought the fire truck in, and that was like everyone's favorite day. That's where they actually have a mini fire muster, where they get the opportunity to roll the fire hose and to do a bucket brigade and spray water out of the fire truck. And I think that the third graders, it's kind of the known thing in third grade that that's what they're going to get to do. So they look forward to that. You wanted to do it the way we did it at the beginning? By the time the firemen come, it's kind of a reward. It's a reward for them for their hard work, and then it's also an opportunity for them to just kind of experience firsthand what's happening out in the community. The rescue lesson that they do is probably my favorite because um, it teaches the kids what happens when they do call 911 and 911 shows up with all those that equipment and the spinal board. And it's kind of intimidating, but one of our kids actually um, was having some difficulty breathing and 911 came and it was our actual fire crew, which was kind of cool. Um, and he knew what to expect because of the lessons that they taught. People call us because they have significant challenges and one of those uh, is fire in the home. And uh, you know, the fire department realizes that by investing in kids we're going to have less of a chance of having fires later in life and uh, kids are uh, great um, because they soak up all that learning and they're happy to have us there but more than that they really do make a difference in their own homes. This is something that is more valuable than I think the district or the community realizes because when you are affecting eight and nine year old children you're making an impact that's going to last for a lifetime. Here we are 20 times later and over 30,000 third graders. None of this would have been possible without the, the, the city support, without the community support. The parents, first and foremost, our school district, our principals, our teachers, those third grade teachers are, are such a key to having that program be successful. We learn things every year from it. I mean, not, whether it's the kids or the teachers, it's awesome. We're very happy and excited to have this program and I look forward to them visiting our classrooms every year.